So many women and men in our area are underinsured or uninsured. Now, that puts them at higher risk for developing life-threatening diseases. And in an effort to make strides against that, we're joined this morning by Emily with the American Cancer Society and Wendy, an advocate for the program Wisconsin Well Women. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thank Thanks you both for... so much for being here. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let's talk about this. Uh, what t describe the wellness program for me. Um, the Wisconsin Well Women's Program is a program that I actually um, was able to, to use and to utilize um, last year. I had a job of 21 years and was laid off. Mm. And like a because lot of, of that, right. And um, because of that, my insurance, you know, I had COBRA for a while and that got to be very expensive. Right. And it was embarrassing, but I actually went three months without insurance. Wow. And I knew it was time to have my breast cancer screening and my cervical cancer screenings that I do diligently every year. I do have a history. Um, before my 40th birthday, I had my first, um, ult well, my first ultrasound and my first biopsy. Mm -hmm. Two years later, I had another one. And two and a half years ago, I found myself having a lumpectomy. Wow. So I know the importance, and everything's fine. I, I don't good. have cancer, very which good. is which I'm very blessed. But I found myself in a situation that, you know, I don't have insurance, and I needed to get my screenings. And, you know, and the well you program helps with that. Absolutely. You, but you said it's embarrassing. It's a reality that Correct. many, many women, many people cannot afford, especially if they don't don't get it through their jobs, right. cannot afford health insurance. Correct. And the Well Woman program gives them an opportunity to do what? Correct. The Well Woman program is a program that gives mammograms, um, free cancer screenings, mammograms and other cancer screenings to low income, underinsured and uninsured women. Mm -hmm. So it's a way for them to get the screenings that could be potentially life saving. Mm -hmm. And in Wisconsin, breast cancer is the number one cancer killer among women. Wow. So if it's caught early, it's, the survival rate is actually 98%. Mm -hmm. But if it's caught late, if it's caught at a later stage, it's only 27%. Wow. So programs like this Major are just difference imperative. in those numbers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. And yeah. the Cancer Society has done so much for helping out and went strides in what we're doing. Of course, we have the Fox 6 team that will be walking mm -hmm. on May 5th, too. Tell us about the relationship between the two programs. How does that work? It's a really important relationship, actually. It's um, because of the volunteers and the striders and the people that come out to this event, we're able to raise awareness for breast cancer and for the need to get mammograms and other cancer screenings, age-appropriate screenings. But also, part of the funds raised that day go to fight back against cancer. And to mm. do that, we work with lawmakers. We let them know how important programs like these are so that they'll protect funding. Right now, only one in five women who are eligible for this program actually can receive the screenings because yeah. of mm. inadequate funding levels. Mm -hmm. So by having, pro having events like this and raising awareness and letting lawmakers know how important this is, we're really able to protect a really important program. I think it's a perfect time to say, what can people do to get involved? Because you said yeah. those numbers, one in five women who need the help can get it. So what can people do? Get involved. One of the things, too, um, I'll be at our advocacy tent um, again like I did last year, and letting women know that these programs are out there yeah. because if the programs aren't being used, mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're going to stop funding to it, so there are programs out there to help women and let them know that our legislators, we need to let them know we need funding for these and to keep that in their budgets. Right, just is, getting the communication mm, out there, absolutely. which is what's so great about this show. True. Very, very you know, true. gets it all out there and absolutely. gets our team going. Thank so you, ladies. We'll see you ladies out there. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. All right, and our next thing, you might not want to stick around because we're going to be talking about why your coworkers don't like you. Uh-oh. I know. <laughs> I don't want to know. I love you. I love but you, There are other people it's other that people. I don't like. <laughs> and why. Thank you. Brad Hicks and State.